Hi everyone, this is Creative Lego and today I'm doing another set review. This is on Lego Ninjago set 70641, which is the Ninja Knight Crawler. So basically this is one of the um one brand pretty much brand new Ninjago Sons of Garmadon sets, which just came out last month. And it's it's rather big, it's not it's not large but it's not small either. And it's a really nice kind of looking sporty car for Lloyd. So in the figures you get Lloyd, Nia and Ultraviolet who has an only mask and you basically get the Ninja Knight Crawler and the Sons of Garmadon bike which I'll show you in a minute. First I'm going to show you the figures you get. So first off you get Lloyd, well you don't get him first off in the actual building of it but there's Lloyd so obviously it's a new Sons of Garmadon season suit, obviously they've got the movie design for the TV show which I think is a bit weird. I prefer the old design um, compared to having the movie one. I mean, it's okay but it feels kind of weird with these different designs now. So Lloyd's costume is okay. It looks a bit more pyjama like which is, it does look a bit weird. You get two of those Lloyd swords without the little golden things on it and you get like the normal let's take these off for the moment you can you have the normal ninjago movie lloyd head so you get the two facial expressions and yeah that's lloyd and you i'll put him in the night crawler in a minute um after i kind of showcase it but yeah i'll just put him in the back with his swords there and then we've got nia so obviously you get two ninja in the set so it's lloyd and nia and Nia is a bit more interesting figure compared to Lloyd's one. Lloyd's one's still okay, but this one looks mainly a bit better. You get um, this massive kind of black staff, which is quite cool. And you also get the armoured piece here. So you can put two silver swords in it. I don't know why I didn't put one for Lloyd, but um, I don't really mind. Um, and basically just got the same kind of diff bit different skirt compared to the movie version but yeah and you also get movie version Nia's as well although I guess you could just consider it the TV version really now because they've got this design so that's Nia we'll put her back there I think and then you finally you get Ultraviolet who actually get first in the building now, I'll try it. This is my kind of first Undergarner figure, and it's quite cool. Um, you get the Oni Mask. Um, so, I think it's the Oni Mask of Hatred. I actually can't remember, but it's probably Hatred. Um, or, or Deceit. I honestly don't know, but I'll put it in the description. But you get this purple Oni Mask, which looks really nice. It's got good details. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, because mainly focusing on the... Nightcrawler, there you go, and they can actually lift up because it's on a helm, it's on a helmet, and then you can see Ultraviolet's um face, so Ultraviolet, it's a girl, obviously, and put that back on. And yeah, you've got these two long hair pieces, and it's kind of like taken over sort of um body and an armor piece, and then I really like the weapon. It's like a flail with kind of mace so it's really nice and it's got all the purple colours. So yeah I, re I really like the ultraviolet figure. I think my favourite figure actually is ultraviolet. I like this figure and then I like Lloyd Nia. So yeah actually I'll show you the bike first. So get the bike. Um it's just like a purple sort of normal bike and then you've got these two red swords sticking out and the um Sons of Garmadon logo on the front so we can put ultraviolet onto the bike and just try and sort out the figure okay and we just trying to try i'm just trying to get it in a bit and there you go so ultraviolet could just sit on just stand on the bike basically and just run along and then that plays part of the battle you could do and yeah there's the bike i'll put that back here and then we're going to move on to the Ninja Nightcrawler. So, obviously it's quite big. It is quite a bit overscaled for a figure. 
but it looks fantastic honestly this might be one of my favorite one of my favorite look good looking sort of lego sets i have and I'll also show you some of the features so it's got a nice kind of sporty design that goes along it it feels quite nice and heavy which is a bit satisfying oddly satisfying um you've got i'll take the um um place out the way so i can lift it so you've got it's just a four-wheeled vehicle um you've got these blades you've got like kind of dark green and light green that runs along there's blades in the front it's called bumpers and um, these parts, so I think these are headlights. <coughs> and then along the side, I think these on both sides, you've got this kind of slit design that goes inwards and outwards, and pretty much goes on the same side. The colours blend quite well, mixed together, along with these sort of stickers that are on there. And a bit of an engine at the front, I think. And then you've got the cockpit and the window shield, I think you get it focused. There's different kind of details to use the stickers in there, see-through stickers, and these go all the way around, and you lift it up and you can enter the cockpit. So you've got a wheel, and you've got a meter there, it tells you how fast it's going, and you may be wondering why are these clips for? These are actually to clip Lloyd's swords in, if I can actually get them in, so you can get both of them in one clip for each sword and you can pretty much put his Lloyd swords in and also if I just give me one sec I'm gonna fit Lloyd in sorry it's dark but I literally have nowhere to put camera right now and yeah there is Lloyd you can fit him right in there quite easily you could even fit him in there with the armor piece so I don't know why I didn't include it again and yeah, you can just sit in there, and it fits quite well, and yeah, so, you seen why you've got these big kind of yellow gold or gold blades along the side, these go to the massive kind of contraption at the back, just, it's a really interesting mechanism, it's kind of unique to the Nightcrawler, and literally, when most of the back bit here, <coughs> sorry, most of the back bit here use loads of technic parts to just to do this mechanism. So first, you see you've got this bit here of the Lloyd emblem. You push this down and out come the gun. So you've got six stud, six times stud shooters on both sides. So pretty much massive machine guns. And these that you fold out, it enters attack mode and the sword's going to flip in. And you also see on both sides you've got a um, picture of a dragon. Looks like the mech dragon a bit. And yeah, you can see them in it and it looks really cool. So just go that in. And I will show you how it works. So the reason why it spin this mech this cog here, it spins when the um, car rolls. That's because the wheel here is connected through to that. And just lift in and see how that kind of works with it so re that's how it works so as that goes down the cog goes down and that will trigger there's loads of different like mechanisms just to like get this and you push that down as you roll it along if i can just get this it actually shoots out the studs which is fantastic so basically it's just a good way of playing it really and looks really nice I'm gonna lose one again. There you go. I just shot all the studs at myself because why not? And but I need to showcase to you how it works. So that's one of the kind of best play features about the Nightcrawler. And yeah, I'll show you. Over on the back, you've got these two golden coat wing blades, or whatever. And you just go in the back. You can position them wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. And you've got loads and loads of light green just kind of corrupting the back of it here. So you can just see all of that. <coughs> Sorry. And I mixed all of that pretty much in. And you've got these engines out here, the, all the exhaust. So that's quite nice. And that It just all adds up. It looks really nice. And also, I don't know whether this really matters or you're meant to do this. 
but this kind of folds out. It feels a bit like a boot. Although it really, it only really shows you the mechanism of how that works. It just feels a bit like a boot, but it doesn't really matter. And there you have it. That's pretty much all I need to show you. The night crawler. I'll show you. It's rolling. Like it rolls really easily and nice. And yeah, that's the night crawler. So I really like this set. I'm glad I got this because it's just fantastic. And yeah, it's about I think it's about thirty five pounds. So did have have a bit of money for it. But yeah, it's really nice. It, I don't know whether this might be the only Sons of Garmadon set I have, unless it's the Katana V11, which I think I'm going to get from a friend. But if I'm going to get any other set, it might be Street Race of Snake Jaguar, but I'm not sure. So I'll see, see you around then, or any other reviews I might be able to do on, the, on any other Sons of Garmadon sets. So I hope you like this review, and see you later. Bye.